Welcome everybody, welcome to Homestead Heart. So I'm out here after the rain, touring the garden, having a look, and uh, man, this squashed vine borer is no joke. He has taken out several of my squash plants, and um, it's very disheartening, but it is a reality on the homestead that you have um, pest that will take out your crop in no time flat and I've lost several already so I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you what's left and I was really excited about this um, crop but let me just show you you all so I thought this was recording when I was showing you but it wasn't so let me just show you again this was my squash plant here and here's another piece of it right here. And I've already pulled up the root right here so you can get a good look at it. So the moth that was in here, man, look at what he's done. I mean, just took out my little plant. Look at there, y'all. And he was actually underneath the plant. Yeah, he was underneath. He, he bored in from underneath. Really, it you didn't even see it. <laughs> you didn't even see it. Because it happened underneath and just wasn't expecting it to show that way. But that's what happened. And this one right here, I'm afraid that I think one may be here as well. I'm going to really get in here and look at this one. Yeah, it is. Because I can feel... A little hole underneath this plant right here I'm gonna get in there and see if I can fish him out and see if there's any hope for me to try to save this gray zucchini plant here look at here look at all these eggs on this plant so I'm gonna get in here and see what I can do I got to get those eggs off if there's anything that I can salvage on this plant I'm gonna see so that was my green zucchini. This is my gray zucchini. All right, let's get down here. Show y'all this. This is really sad. <laughs> Let me go around. Right here I had my spaghetti squash plant. And I just came over and I touched it and look. And there's my spaghetti squash just sitting on the ground right there. So yeah, that's my spaghetti squash plant right there. So look at this, y'all. Just look at this. Man, oh man. Just look. This is really sad. All right, so as you all can see, this plant right here is already severed from the root right here. Here's the root of the plant. And let's see. I don't see him anywhere in the in the root part of the plant. There he is. Look. Can y'all see that? There he is right there. Look at there. Can y'all see that? There he is right there. Yeah, that's him right there. Yeah. Well, it used to be him. Oh my God, look you all. Look at that. Let me break this off. Oh 
know, having a hard time breaking it off. But look, let me get over here to you all. Ugh. Look at this. There's more of them in here. See them in there? Look at that. Just look at that. There he is right here. See him? Yeah. There's another one. Look at there. Three. Yeah, three in one plant. So my little plants, they never really had a chance with three of them in there, right? So I'm taking these and throwing them out of the garden. I'm harvesting my little squash. They're early, but what can you do? Here's another one that I'm harvesting early. Oh, buddy. Yeah. Look at this, you guys. Whole plants just gone. All right, you all look at this. This is all of my, just about all of my squash over here. My um, butternut, spaghetti squash, and my pumpkin. This whole area, they have taken it out. Look at this. This is all that remains which is my um, um, butternut squash. Um, a moth was boring its way through one of the vines and I found it and I squished it. But that doesn't mean that there aren't more hiding down in the soil at the base somewhere and I missed it, I don't know. But yeah, this is all that I have left. And it's butternut squash, all of it. My spaghetti squash, this is um, all I was able to get from that plant. Of course, I had more coming, but I was only able to salvage three of those. Now, this vining plant here, this is the loofah right here. And the loofah is still doing well. But, yeah, they got me for all of my squash down here as well. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, get this one and take it out of here yeah it's a lot of squash plants gone this is June is it too too late for me to start them again I don't know um, can't hurt to try so try I will and uh, we'll see what happens the backup plants that i had that i planted they're over in the raised beds and they are still doing okay so we'll just keep a lookout for what's left of my um butternut squash over here we'll see what happens all right you all that's gonna do it out here today on the homestead again that's my point i suppose Always plant more than what you think you're going to need because there are so many pests that can take out your crop in no time flat, right? My boys have been in, a, in the mud playing again. So, yeah, 
that's um man it just makes you so angry no matter what i mean <laughs> it still makes you angry right so it just makes you so angry all that hard work and time and uh in just a couple of days is gone you know so yeah hi grizzly bear so yeah i'm a little frustrated i'm a lot frustrated but i'm gonna see what i can do i'm gonna get some seed in the ground and um and see what happens i'm gonna replant right here in the same spot like i said this is june if it does well at least i'll know if it doesn't do well at least i'll know right um what else was i going to share well i think that was it i feel like i'm forgetting something oh yeah the row covers I'm highly considering um, putting row covers over our squash plants uh, next season to see if that would help for a little while, right? Just to see if that would help for a little while, putting row covers over our squash to keep the moth from being able to land on the squash and lay her <laughs> eggs on the squash plant so we'll see if that works next season this is a learning season for us we're learning so much as this is our first season on the homestead so we're really learning a lot um, about what we're up against um, like I said it's 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 a it's just a learning experience I know y'all can tell I'm frustrated <laughs> Man, I'm frustrated, but at least we're learning something in the process, right? So, yeah, that's going to do it. Showing you all how quickly that uh, squash vine borer can take out your crop. Now, the other squash plants are doing okay. Um, they're looking pretty good, really. They're looking okay. I'm concerned about one, but... For the most part, they're all looking okay. But I just wanted to show you all what has happened to the squash plants here. Yeah. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We always appreciate your support. Give us a thumbs up as well. And um, put your comments down below. Do you think the row covers would help when it comes to protecting the squash at least early on when the moth is out laying her eggs you know i think she's probably doing that somewhere around um april may uh so yeah april may i believe so by june i think she's done laying her eggs so do you think that maybe the row covers would help until june or you know just tell me what you think in the comment section below right so again, thank you all for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. And we'll see you in the next video. At least the chickens can enjoy what's left of the squash plants. They seem to love them.